Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of the Billy Goat electric bicycle that come with pedals and without pedals. So this one will be without pedals. So let's open up and see how it looks inside. So it comes with the tools, headlight, nice headlight, uh, black pegs, the one you're gonna attach, and they do have different colors, so if you want different color you can purchase from the website, and I'll post link in description with discount code as well, and this is a charger, and it says here 3 amp charger. So let's check it out. So it's a little different from the other one. Okay. Yep, 3 amp charger. And here the bike will look inside the box. So the first step, I'll try to attach the handlebar. So before doing this, you need to remove this bracket. And it came with very nice hex key, Allen key. So you just remove them, all four. So you would remove these four bolts and look how thick they are, they are the largest one. I think it's very good for safety because some bicycle come with very thin bolts in here and it's very easy to break them. The next step is take the handlebar, lift it up and reattach right over here with a bracket you remove you put on top of it and the bolts you remove you just screw it with the hand first and you attach it like this so it will stay in place I would not tighten it very well because I'm gonna uh, readjust once I sit on the bike so the next step will be to attaching the wheel I recommend to remove this uh, ball or this nuts with a washer from both sides so this way it will be much easier to attach the wheel so I'll remove them next step you will just stand on this plastic one you don't need it remove this protection the red piece plastic it protects the brakes so it will not close because this one comes with hydraulic brakes and then you will just insert the disc between pads then you would reattach this um, locking washer to put first then you put uh, just a washer on top and the nut and you do it on both sides so the next step would be the attaching the fender or the guard whatever you call it so you would need to remove this bolt from here also from here and from another side as well once you remove them you reattach this uh, fender right over here it's going like this very simple and everything fit very well so far i'm very glad with this bike the next step to attaching headlight but before attaching headlight i would want you would want to attach this um, uh, like turn light so over here you'll find nut and you just attaching like screw them okay and it, this part have to go forward and same thing you will do on this side you take this nut from here insert it and retighten you can use a wrench but don't tighten very well because it can break this turn light signals okay and once you attach them you would attach the headlight before attaching the headlight you would need to remove these two uh, bolts from both sides from here another side over here okay and then you would use this uh, rubbish washer uh, between the mounting and headlight and just reinsert it okay first with the hands and then with the wrench next step you would take this uh, like it came with a wire blue color and another on the bike over here 
and you would match two auto and just push from both sides and it would be plug in the light. So the bike almost assembled and you would need to attach the pegs. The original one came with a black color but I do have a red one which I received uh, for, from another bike as well. So you can buy them online. The link in description will give you 10% off as well on the packs. If you want to go with different colors, you have also red and gold. I already attached on one side, and on this side you just screw in as well. Should be super easy. And once you uh, tighten up with your hands, you can use screwdriver, or it came pretty long hex key, you just insert it and tighten up. Okay, and you can also get with the pedals because this bike comes with the pedals as well, same price. And that's how the Billy Goat will look once you assemble it. This bike comes with no pedals and they will have an option also with the pedals. So it's your choice to pick one when you're purchasing. So you can select pedals or without pedals. Also, uh, they will have some upgrade for the new version. By the time this video come out, probably this, will, this one will be sold out. But I still want to make this video uh, to give you kind of, not compare, just a projection what's going to be in new version. So you know what you're going to order if you decide to. The look up going to be about the same, they say, but they're going to have some improvement. And I want to go over the spec and to show you what will be improved. So let's go over some spec. So the first I was told that seat will be upgraded to the larger one a little bit. And they sent me a picture which uh, already in production I understand. And they will have a larger seat. I'm not sure if the color will stay the same. Probably it will. Maybe they will have different options of color as well. I'm not 100% sure yet but they will have a larger seat. This one is good for one person and also it's uh, not bad actually, it's comfortable but the other one will be more comfortable so it will be a little bit larger. They told me they will have a new headlight which currently actually I think it's very good headlight so far and it comes with a signal light, projection light but it's only one beam I understand. They will have function with a higher beam and low beam, the new one. So it will have a better headlight improvement. The fork is hydraulic and it's a crown fork as you can see um, and it has uh, about 60 millimeter travel with a locking mechanism and preload adjustment right over here by twisting you can adjust. Uh, I don't have any information on the new fork so most likely it will stay the same Mm, but at currently it's actually working pretty well so if they leave it as is I uh, will be very happy as well it comes also with the rear suspension which actually work on this bike very well even the spring is large but it's make it a very smooth ride as well and it's also air suspension so you can um, air shock you can put some air over here if you need to make it more stiffer so the future one, a new version 2, uh, most likely will keep the same, maybe it will get upgraded, they didn't tell me yet, but if you check link in the description, they might have new information. And here's a major upgrade to this bike, currently it has a 1000 continuous watt power motor, which is pretty good with 48 volt, but the new one will be 2000 uh, like uh, watt with a uh, 60 volt so it will be not only larger but also more torque in it more power so it means it will go faster and I was told it will go about 50 miles an hour and about the battery the battery currently is only 48 volt by 15 amp which is good but it will be upgraded to 60 volt to 20 amp battery so the battery will have 12 100 watt hours which is very large also this version comes with a usb port on the battery over here to charge it and you can remove the battery you can check the battery right over here but uh, again new version will be a little bit different and it also comes with a 
USB port underneath over here as well. So you got two USB port on the first version, the second version, I'm not sure. You will have an option again with the pedals or with the packs. I think with this powerful bike like they're gonna offer, you don't really need to have a pedals, but if you need the pedals, you will have options to get with the pedals. Currently the price is reduced and I also have a 10% off in description you can apply so you'll get a really good deal for this type of bicycle. This version comes with a, a hydraulic brakes uh, by Ronglan and it has a 180mm disc brakes and the new version supposed to have a hydraulic brakes but I'm not sure what size of the disc is gonna be. I hope they will upgrade it because the speed will be higher, so you need better brakes. Currently, these brakes should be very good, but for higher speed, maybe it's good to have a better brakes as well. And uh, display, currently it's a large display with a lot of information in it. You got uh, three power, also volt power here. While you're running, it will give you instant volt power as well. Speed, battery, in voltage as well, date, time, temperature on top and very nice control on the left side over here very easy to control if you need to see how to change the settings you can check link in description also easy to change uh, signals left to the right also the light on and off and also come with a horn uh, the new version will have a different display and that display will have a bluetooth I understand and an app so you can uh, use an app to go through all the settings as well and, and see all the information on the app as well. And another great feature, it will have, a, like currently it's a full throttle, uh, very nice grips, but the future version will have not only full throttle, but also a lock, as in the picture, the same copy of the picture, and also they will have a lock on the wheels. I'm not sure exactly, most likely it will be on the uh, brakes, but I'm not 100% sure. And again, the display can be password protected as well on the new version. I believe this one also can be protected when you go to settings, you can set it up and protect it with a password if you want to. If you like this bike, please check it in description and uh, for more discount and also uh, more information on the new version. They do have a different design bike as well as a goat motor and folding goat and um, Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and now we're gonna go for the speed test and see how the bicycle perform at this spec right now and the future bike will be of course much more faster and better performance All right, so let's go and see how fast this uh, Billy Goat perform. Also, it's a little bit different riding position since there's no pedals. And I like it actually, I like without pedals also. So it all depends what you're looking for. I do have bikes with pedals, which I bike, and this one is without pedals, which you enjoy riding it. And it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna get to the point where I do the test right over here. And let's see if all the camera recording, everything good. So I would have to set it up to the level 3 on display because the throttle currently depend on the pedal assist level regardless of the, since I don't have pedals, but they still require to go all the way to the level 3 and I'll use the throttle again only because there's no pedals and see how fast I can go. 13 miles an hour, 15, 17, 18, 20, very quick acceleration, 22. 23, 24, 27, 28, it was like 29 on GPS, so GPS show a little bit still faster, which is uh, GPS more accurate. But I'm gonna do another test this way because it looks like the wind a little bit was in my face, so maybe not as fast. But I'm gonna try one more time right over here to see how fast it will perform this way. And I did change uh, wheel diameter to 23 inches wheels. So currently 21 miles an hour, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. all you 
you're gonna get on this bike with my weight on if you're lighter i believe it's going up to 39 miles without load so if you're lighter than me you might get faster so 32 miles an hour i think it's pretty good and again this bike will be upgraded to larger motor so expect to go up around 50 miles an hour and i do weight about 215 pounds it's uh, catching the air very soft and smooth and uh, I think uh, wow and the brakes works really good on this bike so I'm gonna test it out somewhere like um, oh, wow it's a really fast acceleration even with 1000 watt and what peak it's about getting 1400 I could see 1400 peak already so I have, I have a wood peak right over here so easily 1400 peak power and it's, it is different than 750 watt motors so because on the market there's many bikes that advertise 1000 watt but in reality they are telling you they have only 1000 watt peak it's totally different from uh, 1000 watt peak uh, and uh, 1000 watt motor you'll see difference in power a lot and i said before this bike will be upgraded with motor so even the test today show 32 miles an hour that's going to be much faster so let's raise it check the brakes wow the brakes works real good left some burning mark on the ground so the brakes uh, i like it actually the same brakes came on the folding goat and they're working very nicely no squeaking and uh, very good stopping power but i'm not sure if they're good for 50 miles an hour bike most likely they should be okay but again i would like to see thicker disc on this uh, powerful bike they're gonna release like they're gonna be selling them now you can pre-order a discounted price and later on it would be more expensive i guess and even at the price they listed it should be so good under two thousand dollars very fast bike with 60 volt watt uh, system so you might want to check the link in the description and the bike actually looking really cool um, it's a very quick acceleration with this bike but the fish one will be much faster maybe small jump okay. wow it's a really quick acceleration on this bike and again jump wow wow this one is and it's very solid like i jump on this uh, different bike before you can hear probably a lot of like noises this one is like much less uh shaking everything on this bike looks very solid so on this bike particular you have a very good straight up position riding this bike like so i'm 511 very comfortable and uh, if you, if you buy with pedals your feet still gonna be good pedaling it even when you're 511 or 6 feet i think you can easily pedal it as well so it's a great bike with pedal without pedals but again the future one which they're gonna have will be a little bit different with more power in it i recommend to get with pedals if you want pedals so you have options to pedal it not like you're gonna use this and if you ever want motorcycle so not to have pedals then it's gonna be a really good choice as well because um, it's all fun to just use the throttle and the battery gonna be large enough to go for longer ride the seat should be more comfortable this one is comfortable but again they're gonna make it more comfortable which is gonna be even better and more powerful with more powerful bike you can climb basically to any hill i might have the other one as well on my channel so don't forget hit subscribe and like this video and um, this bike very smooth 
Uh, the fork works really good. The suspension rear works very smooth as well. Uh, it's the way it's designed under angle, so it gives a good uh, uh, response. But display is very clear, nice. The one they're gonna have also supposed to be very clear because, as you can see, this one. I have the same display on my other bicycle, another brand, and it's very clear, nice, very nice display, and you will have an app. I'm not sure, sure exactly if there will be GPS or not, but you'll have many upgrades on this bike, which everybody wants those. Logs, faster, more power, bigger battery, and the, also the tires. The tires will be a little bit different, which also nice this one is candy type puncture resistant which is great but they're gonna have a like more like motorcycle tires for street riding you can take it off road if you want to but again they're gonna have nice tires on the other bike as well like on the same bike but it will be version second version uh, so will be more upgraded Again, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.